Hello, I'm Ben Coley. Medicare has gone through some dramatic changes in the recent years. With the implementation of the Medicare Modernization Act of 2003 and its implementation in 2006, Medicare has gone from its traditional parts of just hospital and doctor coverage with Medicare Parts A and B and has now implemented two different parts with the, the new Medicare Part C and the Medicare Part D. Today we're going to do a basic overview of Medicare and its four major parts. Medicare is a federal ex medical expense insurance program. It is eligible for all those age 65 and over who have enough Social Security credits. Also, for those under age 65 who have been receiving Social Security disability income benefits for two years. And also, for anyone with end-stage renal disease who is on dialysis. Medicare is administered by the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Again, Medicare has four distinct parts, the traditional Part A and Part B, and as of 2006, the two new parts, Part C, the Medicare Advantage Program, and Part D, the Prescription Drug Program. So let's dive into Part A. Part A has four main areas of coverage, inpatient hospital care, skilled nursing facility care, home health care, and hospice care. Basic benefits for Medicare Part A. There is a deductible upon hospitalization of $1,068 for 2009. That is the deductible for the first 60 days of hospitalization. For days 61 through 90, Medicare pays all but $267 a day and from days 91 to 150, all but $534 per day. Skilled Nursing Facility Care. First 20 days, Medicare covers all approved amounts. From days 21 to 100, Medicare A Part A pays all but $133.50 per day and Medicare covers nothing beyond the first 100 days in a skilled nursing facility. Home health care. Medicare pays 100% of approved amount, 80% of approved amount for durable medical equipment. While it looks like Medicare pays well for home health care, typically the approved that they're referring to is when you are in a rehabilitative condition and you, you are improving from that. Hospice care. Medicare pays all but limited costs for outpatient drugs and inpatient respite care. Medicare is typically very well with hospice care. And the deductible for the blood is three pints per calendar year. Medicare Part B. Part B is optional and offered to everyone who is enrolled in Part A. Upon turning 65 or becoming eligible for Medicare, you are automatically signed up for Medicare Part A and B. Part B typically comes, the premiums are deducted from Social Security benefits. You can elect not to take Part B in certain situations if you have a group retiree plan or you're still working and on a group health plan or if you just elect not to have Part B. If you wish to not enroll in Medicare Part B, you need to contact your local Social Security office. For medical expenses under Medicare Part B, Medicare pays 80% of approved amount after the initial calendar year deductible of $135. For clinical lab services, Medicare Part B generally pays 100% of the approved amount. Medicare Part B benefits for home health care, same as Part A, 100% of, of approved amount, 80% approved amount for durable medical equipment. Again, this is typically in a rehabilitative situation where it covers 100%. Outpatient hospital treatment, Medicare payment to hospital based on hospital cost. So let's move on to Medicare Part C, the Medicare Advantage program. Medicare Advantage is Medicare provided by an approved health maintenance organization 
preferred provider organization, or private fee-for-service organization. Medicare Advantage is offered through private insurance companies. When you enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan, you are no longer directly receiving benefits from Medicare Part A and B. Medicare is now subsidizing a private insurance company to take on those benefits and those costs associated with your care. Premiums, coinsurance, and deductibles vary between plans. Also note that Medicare Advantage plans are not guaranteed renewable, such as a traditional Medicare supplement plan. Medicare Part D, Prescription Drug Insurance. Open enrollment is every year from November 15th to December 31st. At this point, you have one option to change between any drug plan that you would like. There are two types of Medicare Part D plans. A standalone plan, which works in conjunction with traditional Medicare Part A and B, or with Part A and B and a traditional Medicare supplement plan. Or there is the integrated plan, which is the Medicare Advantage plan that also adds the prescription drug benefit into its plan. Medicare Part D plans are also offered through private insurers and are required to be as good or better than the Medicare Design Plan. Under the, under the Medicare Design Plan, there are four stages as follow. In Stage 1 is the deductible stage, where you pay 100% of the cost. The numbers you see are based on the retail cost of your prescriptions. From 0 to $295, that is the standard deductible under the Medicare Design Plan. In Stage 2, from $295 to $2,700, you pay 25% of the retail cost of the prescription, and the plan pays 75%. Most plans out there have level co-pays for generics, brand names, and preferred brand names, and typically do not use the percentage copay. In stage three is the coverage gap, where you are responsible for 100% of the cost until your out-of-pocket cost hits $4,350 for the year. Keep in mind that the $2,700 referred to in stage two is the retail cost of your prescriptions, and the $4,350 is your out-of-pocket expense. So while the gap does not seem that large between $2,700 to 4,350, your out-of-pocket costs are going to be less than 2,700 when you reach the coverage gap. While the Medicare Part D plan can be very confusing, Medicare has a cost estimator on their website that can determine each specific plan's out-of-pocket costs in accordance with your prescriptions. Please refer to the cost estimator on www.medicare.gov. Medicare Supplement. Medicare supplements were designed to fill the gaps in Medicare Parts A and B. Medicare supplements have 12 standardized plans. They are sold and services provided by private insurers. They may cover some or all of Medicare's deductibles and co-payments. Medicare Supplement Plans A through L. The most popular plan we see today is the Medicare Supplement Plan F in your far right column. Plan F offers the basic benefits of a Medicare Supplement Plan, skilled nursing co-insurance, Part A deductible, Part B deductible, Part B excess charges, and foreign travel emergency benefits. The reason the Plan F is so popular is because it covers the Part A deductible, Part B deductible, and the Part B excess charges. Typically no bill is ever sent to the customer who has a Medicare supplement Plan F. The most comparable plan to the Plan F is the Plan J, which has all the benefits of Plan F and used to be a very popular plan because it had the basic drug benefit. But with the implementation of Medicare Part D, most people have moved from the Plan J to the Plan F. 
Each state's Department of Insurance website has a Medicare Supplement Comparison Guide that compares the premiums of each Medicare Supplement carrier in that state. That concludes our Medicare overview. Thank you for your time.